Got a great turnout tonight. We got a good program for you. These last three days at this Infrastructure Academy were amazing. It's basically the first night of the rest of your life here. This is an opportunity for a lot of individuals to come in and apply for positions at PICO. I asked some kids if they knew what a lineman was, and they said to me, offensive or defensive. So the objective of the Infrastructure Academy is to create awareness for utility jobs. I came to this Infrastructure Academy to kind of get a hands-on grip of the different positions PICO have. We provide hands-on training on interview skills. 10 times out of 10, that's probably the reason you didn't get the job, because you don't know how to interview well. Practicing for some of our aptitude test skills, and it gives these applicants the opportunity to come in and see what to expect if they're called in for a position here at PICO. The objective is for people to get employment that will sustain them and their families. You know, sometimes they might not think they can do this kind of job because they don't have no skills or training, and they might not even think to apply, not knowing that this job will train you. We're gonna put this harness on you. I really appreciate Pico for uh, for hosting this. Um, I think it's a it's a good event. It's an eye opener. More than just a job, it's a, it's a career. Normally, if we were going in the area, you would have a lanyard. Okay. You would hook it to here. That way, when you're working, if you fall out, you will catch. You. People are extremely grateful that we've had this Infrastructure Academy. They are just amazed that PICO would host an event like that to help them understand our hiring process so that they too can get hired at PICO. It's nice that they tell people and encourage people that, you know, you don't have to have that experience in order to get started in a company. The information session gave me the confidence I needed to be like, oh, let me try this. I thought of my son because, you know, he's young, it's the time to get in, get your feet into a company that you can build something with, have a, a build a great life with, a career with. It's entry level, it's a union position, so this is where you start, um, but there's like six month progressions. By the time he's my age, he'd be set. Each one of our hands-on assessments has uh, individual PICO employees who actually do the work. So any type of questions these potential applicants have, they can ask our employees and we'll get a direct answer because these are the folks who do the work every day. Start in the middle, that's it. Tighten that one down and it'll be nice and easy for you. They were really informative. They were ready and able to answer any questions that I may have had. For the mechanics that work for Pico, they love talking about their job. And if you ask them questions, they'll talk to you forever. We set up a ladder for Pico, it's a big on four to one ratio. I definitely want to show my face and talk to the people in the city, like let them know like this is a great place to be. So they've been receptive and they like, they're hungry. You're not just running up a ladder not safe. All right, so always keep two feet in one hand. They're taking us step by step, pretty much letting us know how they how they days really are. And that's kind of like coming from me, being young and wanting to do this. It makes me like feel comfortable, like maybe I could do this, because they're really showing us. They're not just telling us. Now you can get a little bit bigger after you break at that initial time. I feel like they were pretty knowledgeable. Like I am one of those people that want to know exactly what what the tool is and what, it, what does it do? You want to hold this one steady. Okay. They explained a lot of stuff to me. This is the, what's again? Shaper. The shaver? Shaper. Yeah. The shaper. Everybody was eager to answer any questions that I may have had or any of my colleagues may have had. They had no problem hands on showing you how to do everything, uh, of course, safely. And um, everybody seemed to be actually concerned with your well being, making sure that you do the job the right way and return to your family every single night. We will provide you with everything possible to make sure you do your craft safely. They were all great. They were all very informational. Any questions I had, any um, any fears I had, they were very encouraging. Like, they made me want to apply. <laughs> Whenever you work in any equipment, you will have hard hats, glasses on, and gloves, the proper PPE. A lot of people don't know how to deal with electricity or gas or, any, anything like that. So for them to take the time out to, to show us and train us and give us a little bit of feedback on what they do. Um, I think I really appreciate that. And I'm grateful that they took the time out. Bag on the line. Bag on the line. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Hand over hand. Just seeing the look on people's faces, like when they coming up talking to me, telling me like their background, where they coming from, somebody that just graduated high school and uh, just to have an opportunity to do this kind of event that they didn't really think was possible. You know what I mean? Like and just like, you know, it could be a life changer for somebody. I would say it changes people's lives because it gives them a sense of pride. I have a whole background in cooking, so I was just trying to do a career change. So you're good with your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this academy is important for the city of Philadelphia because once folks gain gainful employment, they're able to contribute to the local economy. You will see statistics that say Philadelphia is the poorest big city 
in the nation. So to be able to let people know about our opportunities, it means an awful lot. I think it's awesome that they give you, you know, the opportunity to learn about something new. Coming from different backgrounds and everything like that, in different areas, they let you know where you can succeed at in life. I know Pico, this is more like a career and not just a job. And I like to work with my hands. Like I'm not really too much of an office guy. So I know I can make good money, provide for family one day, and be able to have like a trade under my belt. And to me, that's big. The skill set with this, I'm taking it anywhere. You know, me, I didn't know nothing about electric when I was here. Nothing until I got here and I learned it. I wired my own panels now <laughs> in my house now. So don't be asking me to come to your house and wire your panel. I'm not doing it. Everybody who, at, at every single station, they just talk about how they've been able to change their life, change their family's life as well as learning a skill, being good at something and something that you can use for life, as well as servicing your community. You're learning a trade and really um, giving back to society in terms of that trade. They feel very uh, humbled and, and very excited to be able to help people restore power, for example, or to keep power in their homes. So in one way, they're giving back. I would say an ideal candidate is someone that wants to work, someone that wants to learn. The more folks see that you want to learn, the more they're going to be wanting to teach you. This is all about learning. I've emphasized all three days about safety first and then asking questions. Safety, safety, safety. Some people might be afraid of electric. That was most of the questions. Oh, is that dead while you're working on it? Like, people is all about safety. You know, you're not working on, you're not, never going to put yourself in danger. You hit a primary line, you ain't got no gloves, you're in trouble. Learn as much as you can and take advantage of all the training that we offer. Ask a lot of questions. Take all the feedback that you get. Come out. You have to touch it. You have to feel it. That was the whole purpose of the hands-on. Folks might not know that this is something that they can do. Come out and try it. You might like it. Does anyone want to try it right now? Does it automatically go back like that? Don't need to have any apprehensions. Walk in here, everybody welcomes you. You feel very comfortable. You don't know intimidation. Everybody's here is willing to teach, willing to show. If I was a young person, anybody, I would definitely come check this out. It's worth it. Don't get discouraged if you don't have any background. Like, don't let those backgrounds, like, deter you from trying to have a career with Pico because they will train you. This is going to last a lifetime, so. I say definitely go for it and just take those chances because it might change your life, it might improve, and it's going to be long lasting. It's just a great academy, man. You come in and, you know, you just get to learn about a lot of different things as well as it being a, a, a great career. So I would definitely tell people, uh, even if you are, if you have nothing to lose by coming down, you know, you never know unless you try, man. You, you never want to have what ifs. Just shoot your shot. Just, just, just go because you never know and that's in everything. Get out your own head and just do it. Like, scared money don't make no money. And if you're scared to work, then this isn't place for you. But if you want to change your life and get out of doing whatever it is you're doing in the street or, you know, you at a dead-end job, like, come here and apply. Like, just get your foot in the door. And there's, there's other places here, too. It's not just Pico. So the opportunities are here. Every time I see Pico workers, I can just see the, the character. They always welcome in. They always have a smile on their face. I feel like I just want to be a part of that team. They're just showing me that you can get a lot from this. You can get a lot from this company. People that work for Pico, they stay there for about 30, 33 years, 40 years. So that lets you know right there where type of good company it is and that they care about you. Pico just cares. They care about the community. Like I said, I've been around Pico for 37 years and um, I, I can't think about working anywhere else. I don't like working for Pico. I love working for Pico. I enjoy working for Pico because they allow me to do something I'm passionate about, and that is to reach back and to help community members connect to employment. A lot of people just need an opportunity. They just need someone to look at them and say, you know what, let me give them a chance.